It certainly was nice of you to think of me when sending invitations to my daughter's wedding. It's good to see you too, Mum. I just wish you would have given me more notice. Or maybe some time to get to know your dear partner. I barely even know his name. Yes, good to meet you too, my dear. If only my daughter had thought to introduce us sooner. We could have built more of a rapport before this big day. We'll have plenty of time to talk more later, I'm sure, after the ceremony. Anyway, I'm sorry, Mum. I know how this must all seem to you. This was a sudden decision, and we didn't want to waste any more time. We wanted to keep the ceremony small and involve only the people I care about the most. Sarah, dear. I hope you know that I am delighted to be here, to see you finally get married. It's been a long time coming, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you for coming, Mum. We'll be sure to talk more in a bit. But for now, let's not keep poor Raja waiting. Just a few moments for everyone to take their places. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? Oh, God. Now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you, you're going to make Sarah quite happy. Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now, are we ready to begin the ceremony? Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony, <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. <laughs> 